Training.tv. My name is Margaret. I'll be your broadcast engineer for today. Hope you're all are having a lovely day. We have Rick Kalman here from Claris, which is awesome. Hey, Rick, how you doing? Hey, great. Good. Glad to hear it. Uh, there's been some really cool, been talking to engineering and Rick today also from Claris. Uh, there have been some updates to FileMaker Server as well as a couple other things in the uh, pipe, as it were. And Rick is going to be here to talk to us about that real fast. I'm sitting here looking at release notes. Uh, do you want to share your screen or is mine fine for the moment? No, yours is fine. And I'll probably just talk to it because you can point people to those. Yes. Um, but we did release two server updates um, this morning. Uh, they're there now. Um, so it's um, FileMaker Server um, 22.0.2 was pushed out. Uh, but we also pushed out a FileMaker Server 21.1.6. Um, and um, so if you're running um, Server 22 or Server 21, you're going to want the, these updates. Um, and primarily um, for 22.0.2, uh, .2, and this will be the same for um, FileMaker Server 21, um, we've got some scripts to update uh, Apache on Mac OS and uh, Nginx on Ubuntu. Um, for uh, some security things that are going on. So those are being patched. Um, we still support 21, so that would obviously be included. They have other, though, fixes, however. So since this is our first VREV of, of FileMaker Server um, 22, um, as some of you who have noticed issues with uh, charts not displaying properly in WebDirect, uh, we've addressed that. There's an issue um, uh, in the admin console of, of server where if you click on the go to uh, Adoptium, rather than taking you to the open JDK 17 download page, you get a 404 error that's been addressed. Um, there was um, an SSL certificate um, issue with Let's Encrypt where you would get an error error um, code and, um, and a server error, error uh, on renewal certificates that's been addressed. Uh, and then on the privacy front, um, for our new LL LLM OS debug log, um, it was capturing information that it, it shouldn't have been. So we, we closed that off. Um, the uh, And then as far as FileMaker Server 21.1.6, uh, as well as having that, um, you know, the, the patch for um, uh, for the web servers, uh, there's some additional Ubuntu uh, things that we addressed. Um, there was, um, if you were using Active Directory with external authentication, you were getting a, um, you know, um, the wrong sort of privilege prioritization. So that's been addressed. Um, and uh, with the installer, um, if you already had those those web servers, um, you would get uh, conflict uh, for uh, the configuration. So we addressed that. Um, and then the external authentication one also is just related to um, the ordering of, um, of, of the um, external access stuff. The, so those came today. What I also want to give you a heads up for uh, is that probably within a week, um, uh, yeah, we, we don't have the official date yet, but I'm anticipating um, same day next week. We will also push out updates for FileMaker Pro. It'll be a 22.0.2 .2 update as well as FileMaker Go. Um, FileMaker Pro will pick up some of the of the initial um, uh, uh, bugs that we've heard about. Probably the thing that'll be most um, people will be most interested in is that when 22.0.2 .2 goes out for FileMaker Pro along with, and there's a FileMaker Pro 21.1.2 update as well, because these things go together. If you take both those updates, that will now, again, allow you to install more than one version of FileMaker on Windows without having the funky uninstall, reinstall. Um, mm -hmm. It addresses other things as well. For instance, conditional formatting, um, when there's placeholder text, and a few other things that uh, 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 people will be interested in that have been reported in the community. So we were able to knock some of those down on our first update. Nice. And then the last reminder is um, we had mentioned this uh, when I was on before, but since it, it's coming right after that is by the end of August, uh, FileMaker Cloud 2025 will be out as well, supporting all of the, the enhancements that we made in, in the, the FileMaker um, 2025 on-prem um, release. Uh, and again, the only difference in capability 
um, primarily between the, the FileMaker on-prem will be around um, the AI services that, uh, mm-hmm. you know, Wim had spent a week talking to about a couple weeks ago. Um, since it's in the cloud, we can't really spin up, um, you know, AI <laughs> servers uh, um, uh, under Apple's uh, Create Watch because there are thousands of things you could do there. So anyway, that won't be supported. Yes. Other than that, we'll have uh, parity and the platform will be out. So that's, all, be- that's all I have. Will be awesome. Out of curiosity, with the 2025 cloud update, will that force people to update to 2025 there on cloud, or do they have time to like uh, do the I jump forward on the pro end? I don't know off the top of my head, but I expect it to be similar to every time we pushed out a, a, a major one. There, I think we let people know, and at some point they have to go. So yeah, they they have time to like catch up and process, which is awesome. And yeah. how many releases is that in the space of like two months? Well, in, the, well <laughs> in in the space of less than a month, it will be six releases: two today, cool. three coming after that, and FileMaker Cloud. And no, there's one more um, right after Labor Day. I expect another update um, to um, FileMaker uh, Pro, but I won't go into details on, on that. It'll, it'll be an okay. older version, not a not a newer version. Um, That's so, yeah. awesome. <laughs> Like, I am surprised the engineering team hasn't keeled over and called it because that's insane. That's so yeah. much happening. <laughs> okay, that's actually really awesome. Cool. So, yes, y'all should update. If you have those shiny new servers, please go out. Well, I'll, I'll let Jacob talk and probably in detail about it at some point. So I'm asking about specific bugs. I assume there'll be, like, a bug release list of, like, what's for, like, Pro and Go when... Uh, Everything we address will be in the release notes. Um, yeah. That's what, what Margaret's uh, showing. Um, yes. This is yeah. the general release notes, and you can kind of roughly navigate to where you want to be. So I'll share this. So for the moment, again, the two servers are out today, which is 20. I'll, I, yeah, I, the numbers, I, there we go. It's 22.0.2, and then 21.1.6 are both the server updates out for the Pro and Go. That'll probably be, like you said, what, next week? So That's what, that's what we're anticipating, yeah. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Seriously, thank you mm-hmm. for taking the time to come out here. Sure. And many thanks to the team for bringing these release updates to us because, you know, keeps the platform run at nice high speeds. So, thank you so much. Mm-hmm.